Do you must be a kid, like a kid at Christmas, first game of the season, Wigan Saints derby, and you're finally back from injury. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm really excited. It's been a long term months. Um, I've been out of, out of the game for a while now. Um, yeah, no, I'm really excited for the season to start. And obviously, the other bonus is it, it's a home game. It's the season opener. And we're going against our arch rivals in Wigan. So yeah, no, I'm really excited. It's a bit of a baptism of fire, isn't it? As, as returns go. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no. You, know, you don't want to dip your toe in, do you? You want to jump straight in the deep end, and and you don't get any more bigger than obviously having Wigan. Um, yeah, it's going to be a physical encounter. They've got some big boys in the middle. Um, we like to get stuck in, so, but so do so do we as a team as well. So yeah, no, there's no way to uh, really test yourself than than going against the best. It's going to be a big crowd on, on a cold night. How long? How much are you looking forward to that first carry or that first tackle? Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's, it's obviously going to be a great atmosphere. Um, hopefully it'll be a sellout, um, and there's going to be a lot of people watching this game. Season opener, you know, and it's, it's been it feels like it's been a long time since we've we've played um, a proper game anyway. So yeah, no, I'm looking forward to um, to getting out there um, in, in front of the crowds, again, getting, getting straight, you know, great stuck into the middle. And after coming so close last season, how do you pick yourself up as a group and then and then go again to win that grand final this year? Yeah, no, it was a frustrating end to the season last year, but it's for one things it gives you, it's, it's easy to get motivated, um, you know, to, to see how we was, was arguably the best for, uh, best form team for the whole of the season, so to speak, really. And to fall short in two semi-finals is, you know, was frustrating for a playing group, but for the club in general as well. So yeah, it's it, it, it's not been hard to be motivated for this following, you know, up and coming campaign. Um, hopefully we can right a few wrongs from last year. How much of a boost has it been having those new players come in? Yeah, no, we've got some great boys coming. Um, all of them adding a different dimension to our to our squad. You've got, you know, obviously Joseph Paolo coming in now, you know, into the middle, and he's a very silky player. We're we a big carry, and I'm looking forward to playing him in, in the pack. But you know, I'm really excited to see how Kev goes. Um, he's obviously been a big name signing. He's going to add a, a lot of electricity to our centres, and you know, he's going to be an excited crowd. So he, I think he's going to be really one to watch this year. And you know, there's not many bigger and better players in rugby league than Lachlan Clute. Um, it could, he's really fit straight into our team really well and he's like a, as well as the other boys he's going to add a, an extra dimension to our attack How much did you learn about yourselves on Thursday? Um, I, I don't, I don't want to say it's a, a season defining game but you know, obviously you want to start well and you know if, if you look back to last year we, you know, we started against Cass what was seemed, uh, you know, obviously deemed out to be a, a massive game to start with, and we uh, we've run away with it. Um, I don't think it's going to be the same this Thursday. I think it's going to be a lot closer. It's going to be a tight game, but um, yeah, you know, we, we want to start well. We want to start big and hopefully get the W.